up off here. Yeah. Tip it upside down so it'll drip off and then use your brush to try to excess off the cup. Okay. 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 Extremely on. carefully. Yeah. With both hands, dip it in the sand and you cover the whole thing. You can get it down in there a little bit. There you go. going to be taking this and burning out the wax now. This is the lost wax process. going to go in and polish all that out. Right. And match so all the here. detail that I've done. Where we're, we go in with the carbide and take, take it down to some of the art and then we'll go in and put these fine lines in there with some other tools. 100% cross weld inside and out for strength. And Tony, you've been doing this for like 12 years, right? Yeah, and then I went to college for four years before that and pretty much did the same thing yeah. in school. Uh, it's something new and different every day the cool part about it. I mean, bottom line, I've been building art for a living. How many people do that all the time, every day? I, I'm one of the fortunate few that do. So it's pretty cool for me. I don't mind being the drummer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll line up some familiar parts. And this whole piece is eight panels, including the head. And that leaves out the hands. Hands are a whole separate other piece. And the flowers leave the And the flowers, right. And uh, it's almost like uh, four different pieces of art in one. The, the, uh, the lay is a whole job in itself. Okay. three-dimensional puzzle. Okay, I'm gonna bang on some stuff. Roll 
all that into place? You sure are a drummer. Yeah, huh? The patina mainly is when you, you do it with the chemicals and the heat and the uh, there's acids and um, other things that we use also. It goes into the pores of the metal. When the metal's hot, the pores are open. I've already applied a patina to. Um, this is just a final, a final coating of wax to uh, just to protect it from weather and time. And All right. Well, now I'm just going to heat it up a little bit. And basically, we're just going to dab the wax on. This is a finish that you can shine or you can leave dull. We do what we call a liver dip, which uh, darkens the recesses and kind of gives it detail, gives detail to our sculpture. And then we rub most of that off to, to bring out the highlights. The next step usually is uh, we use a ferric nitrate, which uh, kind of acts as like a, a, a stain. It uh, just kind of warms it up and it's a very translucent patina. Then after that we go through and do all the details like in the flowers and uh, on this lay and stuff like that. No. 